Trump got revenge on hateful athletes with huge picky put up for their visit, they hated. The White House is filled with historical pieces and artifacts that represent our nation's history, but perhaps none are so controversial as what President Donald Trump just donned the walls of the West Wing with today. Among the painted pieces of notable figures in our nation's history, is a new framed piece of work that comes with a clear message that cannot be ignored. Now, idiots everywhere are infuriated about what our leader had the guts to put up that we are pretty sure his supporters are going to love. It's a customary honor afforded to professional athletes who have won a championship, to be invited to the White House for a personal visit with the president. While this offer has been used recently against the president by disrespectful players who grandstand his invitation with insults, the Houston Astros decided to go. This seemed like a positive move until it was seen what the MVP of the team did behind Trump's back, perhaps because he didn't like the president or what he put on full display before their arrival. The first family is getting comfortable in their new home just as the Obamas did in their disrespectful way that nobody seemed to have a problem with. When Trump moved in and began putting his personal touch on the people's house, all hell broke loose with accusations of tactless tastes that his predecessor never got when hosting rappers and their wives. Whether people agree or disagree with what our president just put on the walls, he had the right to celebrate his victory in the way he chose to decorate. The White House isn't just a place where the president lives. It's a monument that represents milestones in leadership throughout our nation's history. Perhaps not a single leader has been so controversial as our current commander-in-chief who overcame all odds to call this place home. Because of that, he has every right to document this incredible feat with a framed piece that shows exactly how that happened, which his athletic detractors certainly don't want to see. The media tried to portray that Trump's opposition, Hillary Clinton, had a huge lead in the presidential race. However, one picture proved that wrong, which has now become the West Wing's latest and perhaps most extraordinary piece of artwork. Trump didn't become president by a mere margin, he won by a landslide of votes where it counted most. The Electoral College is the deciding vote and the now infamous image of which way each area of every state win has become its own modern art on display in the White House, and for good reason. Thray Yingst was among the first to spot this new display and seemingly without realizing the kin of controversy he was opening with this tweeted picture of it, he simply stated, spotted, a map to be hung somewhere in the West Wing. The image of the Electoral College map from the election Trump swept in 2016 accompanied his sentiment and infuriated idiots around the country who couldn't fathom why Trump would display such a thing. It's unknown at what point these Democratic degenerates forgot who they were talking about, thinking that somehow it was out of character for Trump to gloat. When it's his right to do so by having earned it through honest means and against all odds, he should display that victory since it sends a message about what America is all about. Trump was truthful in his lead and the media was not, however, this is photo proof of that bias and that the American dream can be accomplished despite any adversary against you and needs to be displayed for that reason. Perhaps the most humorous part of the outrage over this imagery in the West Wing is that the same people who publicly express how tasteless and gross it is, in their opinion, were in support of a wife using the desk her husband received disgusting sexual favors at during his time in office. I think what it comes down to is that the truth hurts and no matter how much some people in America hate Trump, they can't deny that he legitimately painted the country red in approval of him. Athletes who actually came to the Oval Office after their win, even if with the only purpose was to show him disrespect to his face with dirty looks, are reminded that no matter how popular they think they are, Trump has them beat by a landslide. There's no denying that the mass majority of the country approves of him, as proven in this image. Those are the people who also boycott athletes and other celebrities who abuse their public status to trash the man they proudly voted for. It's often said that a picture says a thousand words but this one speaks volumes beyond that. Trump beats opposed frontrunner Hillary Clinton by far more than a thousand electoral college votes. This wasn't just a victory for him, but for the American people who were heard and deserve to have the peace of our country's history commemorated on the wall of the White House. Every little girl and boy in America with a dream to make a difference and become president one day can do that just like Trump did as an on-career politician.
that's significant and part of what makes America great. America great.